Hi, I'm Mitchell Pearson. I'm a consultant and trainer for Pragmatic Works, and today I would like to tell you a little bit about our advanced DAX course. This class is designed for anybody who has either taken our introduction to DAX course or who has been working with DAX for some time and quite comfortable with the language and really is ready to take their DAX skills to the next level. In my experience, most people struggle with understanding evaluation context when making that transition. A lot of our users or a lot of people that are transitioning over to the DAX language are Excel users. And in Excel, for example, when you look at the total row in Excel, it's usually an average or a sum of all of the rows. But in DAX, it doesn't work that way. DAX, the total row, is evaluated within the current context. And a lot of times that makes the total row look incorrect or inconsistent, but that's not the case. It actually is correct. So understanding evaluation context is where a lot of new users really struggle with as they get into advanced DAX. It's important to take the introduction to DAX course first because in that class we really lay the fundamentals necessary to transition into more advanced topics like filter and row context. And I would say that the introduction to DAX course does a really good job of laying the framework necessary for those advanced topics. The advanced DAX course is going to help you take your skills to the next level by helping you understand evaluation context and helping you think like DAX. When you can think like DAX and understand evaluation context, when you see something like totals that look like they're incorrect or inconsistent, you'll understand why they're incorrect or inconsistent and you can address it by understanding evaluation context. Quick measures in Power BI are a great feature, but unfortunately there's some limitations there. Understanding DAX from an advanced DAX perspective is going to allow you to use quick measures if you want, but you can customize them because you understand DAX. And the quick measures are not always going to solve those more advanced analytical problems that you have, but if you understand DAX yourself, you can write those advanced and author those advanced DAX calculations. Thanks for watching. And if the advanced DAX course sounds like something you'd be interested in, you can go to pragmaticworks.com and check out the different packages that we have available. You can also sign up for a free trial and check out the different courses that we have available in each of those packages.